Hi, I'm Frederick and I would like to introduce you to MIDIJOY. MIDIJOY is an 8-bit adaptation of an interface which Sebastian Tomczak made a couple of years ago for the Atari 2600 console in order to use it with a PC or Mac as a musical instrument. For example, to connect the keyboard and to do live music or to use ready-made MIDI songs which are available in abundance on the web in order to play them in original 8-bit sound. Unfortunately, Sebastian's interface is not easy to be connected to the 8-bit Atari because of the different um, sound chip um, and already existing MIDI interfaces such as the MIDI Mate here, which I've had a look before, were not made for the purpose that I wanted them to do, which is uh, doing live music and to use the Atari as an instrument. These MIDI interfaces are usually uh, for doing it the other way around, for um, controlling other devices, but not using the Atari as a musical instrument, basically. So this is why I had to do my own approach, and I created a software because I really wanted to use my Atari as a live instrument to play pokey sounds, and at best to be able to save them and reuse them later in my own programs. That's why I changed the interface slightly to adapt it to the extended capabilities of the Pokey processor in comparison to the TIA of the Atari 2600, and I've also written MIDIJOY, a program that connects to the interface and also enables the player to do live music on the Atari and to record this music and reuse it in later programs. Doing so, I took into account that this should be done easily even for people who do not have an experience in sound programming on the Atari and this is what I'd like to demonstrate to you now. So here again you see the interface uh, which is based on a Teensy board um, in addition to that, you only need a breadboard to plug it in, a few wires and two serial 9-pin connectors. All in all is available for approximately 30 euros. The two connectors uh, go into the Atari in the joystick ports and on the other side we have a USB cable which connects to my Mac. It can be a PC as well. And on the Mac there's a MIDI sequencer running, in this case it's Ableton Live. And the Mac is again connected to a MIDI keyboard. So the note data goes from the sequencer program into the interface and then into MIDI Joy, which then plays these notes in the classical Atari pokey sound. So let me play you a few chords. So while I'm playing, I can change all the pokey sound registers in real time. For example, distortion. The pokey frequency and thus the pitch. or the high-pass filters. So you see all this can be combined at once and by doing so you can basically explore the sound capabilities of your Atari by simply playing with it. And it's the original and not any kind of emulation. So it's the real thing if you want to do chiptune or bit pop music. Of course, all of this also works with ready available MIDI files which can be found on the web in hundreds and thousands, especially of classical works. And for further demonstration I've used a piece of Handle and I'm going to show you the record and playback functionality now. So first I start recording on the Atari by pressing the Tab key and the border of the screen turns red. And then I start playback on the sequencer and wait until the song is over.
Now I've stopped recording and I see in the center of the screen the amount of RAM that has been used in recording. I remember these values and jump into DOS to save this area of memory. As a proof, I restart the Atari. and reload the song that I've just recorded. And start the playback program as well. The source code for the player is available on my website. So you see it's a really simple interface. The parts are, as I mentioned, available for approximately 30 euros. And if you add another 10 euros, then you can even set up the interface in a way that you don't need to solder anything and all the parts will just plug into the breadboard. So with this simple interface and MIDI Joy, even people who don't have a background in sound programming will be able to create beautiful soundtracks for their own programs or games. All other information, as I mentioned, on my website, which you can find in the description below. Thank you.